afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to our Friday Celebration Assembly. Now, this is similar to our other Friday Celebration Assemblies that we've done in the past, where we've celebrated all those wonderful things in school. But it's a bit different, because we haven't got any children in the hall. It's a bit like football at the moment, the behind closed doors football matches with no fans in the stadium. This is what we've got today. So Mrs Riley and I are going to go through some of that wonderful work that you've been doing at home that's been sent in to your teacher, or those children that are in school that have been doing some work. And each week we're going to pick some bits out and we're going to talk about them and celebrate those. Right, we're going to start off this afternoon with robins. Robins have been really busy this week and we've been learning all about ladybirds. And we've got two pieces of work this week that have been uh, done in school. So the first piece is by Leo, and he's in our Robins group too. And he's written some brilliant facts about ladybirds, um, and he's answered some questions. And the reason he's been chosen is because his writing has really, really improved. We're so pleased at how much he's sounded out his work and writing his answers. So one of the questions that Leo's answered, he's done lots, um, what do ladybirds eat? And um, Leo's written, ladybirds eat green flies. And then the other person we've chosen is Ellie. Ellie's worked so, so hard this, uh, this week. And she has answered lots and lots of questions. And some interesting facts from Ellie. She has put, how does a ladybird protect its wings? And she's put, it's got wing cases. And a really interesting one that the whole class enjoyed. How does a ladybird smell? And it actually smells with its feet. So there are Robins, so really, really big well done to Robin. She worked so hard this week, and well done to Ellie and Leo. Right, we're going to move on to hedgehogs now. Hedgehogs have also been really busy. Uh, these are two pieces of work that took place in school. Um, Matthew has been making a holiday brochure all about Brazil, and that's part of his topic work. And he's written some really interesting facts about Brazil. I'll tell you one of them here. He's drawn a lovely, lovely statue, a lovely picture, and he's written, This is a statue of Christ the Redeemer. He welcomes everyone to Brazil. So that's a lovely piece of work that he's been doing. So well done, Matthew. And our second piece of work from the Hedgehogs is from Lola. And she's been writing about monkeys. And she's told us that it's a fact file. And she's told us monkeys are omnivores, so that means they eat plants and meat, and there are around 260 species of monkeys around the world. So she's also done a fantastic piece of work. So well done, Lola. Okay, our next pieces of work that we're going to celebrate this afternoon are from the owls class. Now, owls aren't in school at the moment, but we've had some fantastic pieces of work sent in from home. So I've got three pieces to celebrate this afternoon. It was really tricky to pick just one or two. The first piece is from Holly, and she's been writing a story about a koala bear and a panda. Okay, and I'll read you just a little bit of it because um, Miss McKenna was really pleased with the writing. There were some expanded noun phrases in here and the use of similes. So I'll read a little bit for you. There was once a perfect panda who lived with the king of China. But outside was a lonely, sad koala bear. The king took his pet to the river, which was clear as a crystal. And the koala bear climbed a bamboo stick and fell off. That was the first part of that story. So well done, Holly. Some really good language being used in there. This next piece of work is from Thea. And we're really pleased with your work, Thea. And again, this one's called The Dolphin's Friend, okay? So I'll read you a little bit about this one. Miss McKenna really enjoyed this one again, and there's a use of speech marks in here as well. So this is about somebody called Dana. Dana was jumping about. She was lonely. Ina was sitting on a green, slimy rock nearby, watching Dana jump, until Dana noticed her and said, Do you want to play? Yes. One rainy day, a big boat came, and it took Ina, and we'll leave that one there, and then Charlie, well done Charlie, you've been really busy as well, and this story is called The Dog and the Cow, and you have to wait till the end of this snippet to hear the simile. Are we ready? 
the friendly dog goes into the green grassy field and says hello to the black and white cow. And the cow says hello too. They play happily every day. One day the field was empty and the dog was worried. The cow was sold on a big, was sold on a big black truck to, diff, to a different farm. The dog chased the truck as black as the rain clouds. And that's Charlie's piece. So well done, Owls. It is so lovely to see that, you, that you're doing all the work that we're setting at home and you're sending in. We're loving seeing it all. So thank you very much and well done to those three. Thank you, Mrs Riley. We'll now move into Key Stage 2 and we're going to start with Merlin's class. Now, some of this work has been sent in to the class teacher and some has been done in the classroom. We're going to start with Jack's work in Merlin's. And the Year 3 and 4s have been writing about a jungle story. So this is Jack's, The Mighty Jungle. Good afternoon, my name is Jack. I live in a tree house next to a river. Tonight I'm going to bed early because I'm going to get up incredibly early in the morning to go to the Mighty Jungle on an adventure. I got up early as planned and I packed my bag ready to set off to the Mighty Jungle. I put on my ice cold shirt and boots made of spider webs. At first I was very scared, but as I got deeper into the jungle I became less scared and happier, so I carried on walking. The next piece of work from Merlin's is from Evelyn, and Evelyn's done hers with a little picture on the front, like a booklet. It's called Jungle Log. Today was probably the best day of my life. I'm super excited to tell you. I'm also a little sorry because your mind will be blown. This story is very exciting. You will love it. It's about my adventure when I went to the jungle. First, I woke up early and I put on my boots and rucksack and headed off. I made sure my camera was working because I wanted to record the lot. So, I can show my friends. It started to rain, so I put on my coat and I put on my trusty explorer hat. So the next, next piece of work in year three and four is from Buffin's class. And again, it's about a jungle and it's from Isla. Jungle log. I'm so excited but I'm worried that there'll be some dangerous animals because yesterday I got chased by a silverback gorilla. As I got ready, in my rucksack was a panther's hair and some binoculars and the smell of jungle air. Last of all was a spare shoelace for my heavy walking boots. The final piece of work from year three and four is from Squirrel's class and it's by Finlay. Again, it's about the jungle um, and it's called My Jungle Log. So first, I set off, I got my clothes on and I had some breakfast. I packed my magnifying glass and binoculars because I wanted to see the creature closer. After a while I was walking, I saw a little creature. I got my magnifying glass out of my bag because I wanted to see the animal. It turned out to be a poisonous scorpion. Okay, we're going to move on to Fox's class now. And this is a piece of work by Ethan that was done a few weeks ago, but Miss Hobbs was so impressed by his piece of work, she asked if we could share it in our first celebration assembly. And it was about the Mars Exploration Rover, the Curiosity Rover. The paragraphs, the organisation of the writing, his handwriting, the facts he's put into it, the language he's used, really, really, really impressive. And I know Miss Hobbs was, was impressed by that as well. So well done, Ethan. That's a super piece of work. The next pieces of work in Fox's class are around a wish story that the children have done. And there's three pieces here, one by Leon, one by Jack, and one by Esme. Now those stories were about somebody getting a wish, which is an amazing idea, but then that wish doesn't turn out quite as you wanted it to, and it's quite a bit of a, bit of a difficult story in a way in the end. Um, so not a happy ending as such as, as they wanted. So lovely idea, but what Miss Hobbs liked, especially about these three pieces, the handwriting, the choice of vocabulary, the imagination, the punctuation, everything that she wanted the children to produce in those stories, they did. So really good examples. So well done Leon, well done Jack, and well done Esme. Okay, next we're going to move on to Year 6 and Badger's class. Now these two pieces of work were picked. Um, they've been doing these in school uh, this week. And they've been doing some persuasive writing. And they've done it from the point of view of an estate agent. So persuading someone to buy a house. And this first one's by Emily. Do you like a perfectly imperfect house? Do you know that 84% of perfect houses looked hideous 
when they were first bought. If you like architecture or interior designing, then this is just what you need. The next piece of persuasive writing is from Russell in Badger's class. And again, it's about trying to sell a house, so it's like an estate agent. Okay, it's a really good piece of, write, piece of writing in this. Have you ever wanted a house with a story to it? If so, you should like this once in a lifetime opportunity. This wonderful house once served as a Western style bar. If that isn't enough to make you grab your wallet, then this will. So boys and girls, we hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the fantastic work that's been shared with you in this, this assembly. It seems like a long, long time ago since we had a proper celebration assembly. So we hope that you've liked the chance to see some work. And remember, if you'd like your work to be shared in school, then please send it in from home. Or if you're in school, it will also get picked as well. So next week, it could be your work that's being shared and celebrated. So next week, tune in the same time to see our celebration assembly. But for now, it's goodbye from her. And it's goodbye from him. Yeah. <laughs>